and welcome to the show. My name is Rick, and in today's video, I thought I would share with you a quick fix I discovered for the Direct X crashing issue that I have been experiencing ever since Season 3 for Call of Duty Black Ops 6 and Warzone dropped. So, with that being said, let's get right into the weeds. All right, so you'll want to log into your Call of Duty game. Now, the way Activision wants you to supposedly solve this issue with the DirectX crashing is go to your Call of Duty dashboard over here where you see the three dots. Give that a click. Scroll down here to Manage. Give that a click. Come over here to Files. Click on that. And then down here under Verify and Repair, they want you to give that a click. And then apparently this is their solution to resolving the issue. Now, I did this numerous times and it never actually fixed the issue. So with that being said, let's check out the solution I discovered by just doing a little more recon. So we will need to basically log into Call of Duty and go to our game settings. And so once you've logged into Call of Duty, you'll just want to pick which game you typically play and change one setting in the graphics. So in this case, I'm going to click on Call of Duty. I'm going to come over here to the little cog or the settings cog give that a click scroll down to graphics click on that and then i want to click on the quality tab and scroll down to vram scale target you can see i have this set at 70 originally i had that maxed out at 90 that is what all your youtubers have you set this at when they're going through the best settings for call of duty black ops 6 or even warzone but when I did a little bit of recon on this Direct X crashing problem, I found the way most people were able to actually fix this issue was to decrease the VRAM scale target. And so I decreased mine down to 70. And so by basically decreasing my VRAM scale target, I am decreasing the amount of video memory required for this game to actually play. And therefore, I'm putting less stress, I think, on my graphics card. And thus, I'm not getting the DirectX crash. But I did see some other players have to decrease it all the way down to 50. And so, as far as I can tell, somewhere between 50 and 70 might be the sweet spot to stop the DirectX crashing issue. And for the life of me, I don't understand why Activision hasn't provided this as a solution versus the solution they do provide that doesn't actually work. But what do I know? I'm just some old dude trying to share my experiences when it comes comes to gaming. So I think that's enough jaw jacking for this video. If you found this video useful, maybe you could spike a like. And while you're at it, shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Also, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. And until next time, seek and destroy. See ya.